Terrapin's Flying Adventure. So, once there was a very famous creature in a marshland. So, his name was Terrapin. So, Terrapin was a tortoise and he was a complainer. He used to complain all the time whether about he cannot run like the rabbit or he cannot fly like the eagle so he complained to everyone whom he met so one day the birds wanted to do something about his complaints so they wanted to teach him how to fly so first of all crook comes and tells him to sit on his back and takes him for a journey or ride so they go flying between trees, houses. And while they were flying, he complained that he wanted to go higher. But Crow tells him that he cannot go any higher and tells him to sit on the vulture's back. So now he goes and sits on the vulture's back. So now Mr. Vulture takes him and flies over the forest and the trees, the tall houses. So the vulture takes him and flies over the forest trees and the tall houses. And as while they were flying, vulture notices his brothers. So his brothers were having a feast in the valley down below. So he tells Terrapin that he wants to go down and join his brothers for the feast. So now, Vulture whistles to Hawk and Hawk comes and gives Terrapin a ride in the clouds. And the Hawk takes him higher and higher. So now, he, Terrapin and the Hawk are flying in the clouds. So as Hawk was giving ride to Terrapin, King Eagle comes by and tell him, tells him that this is what to call flying in the clouds. Hawk take him where he can get the good view of the earth. So and Hawk tells him, I'll only fly as high as is good for me. And tells, why don't you take him for a ride, King Eagle? So Terrapin so King Eagle tells Terrapin, come, get on my back, hop on my back, I'll give you a ride, you'll never forget. So King Eagle was the bird with the longest wing and the strongest bird. So Terrapin thought he'll have a very comfortable ride. So up and up King Eagle took him. So and they went so high that they couldn't see any houses below. So they couldn't see any houses below and the houses had become so small that they were almost invisible. Now as they went higher, Terrapin began to feel scared. He was thinking that he is going to fall. So if he falls down, he was thought that the vultures will feast on his soft skin. And he tells King Eagle that please beg, take me down. I am feeling dizzy. I think I am going to fall. But King Eagle tells him, Why? Aren't you enjoying the ride? Why should we go down? Just wait for a moment. We will go a little higher. Then I will swoop down. And we will be on the ground very soon. But Terrapin, who was very scared, he wanted to go down as soon as he could. So, he remembered that he had a kite winder with a very strong thread in his pocket. So, so now he ties some thread on the king eagle's leg and after tying the thread he holds on the kite winder and jumps off king eagle's back and then he lets himself down slowly, slowly down <coughs> till he reached the ground. So he comes slowly, slowly holding the kite winder now he's saying he says that this is the ride i will never forget 
I am very happier and safer on the ground. So, from this day onwards, Terrapin never grumbled that he couldn't fly. So, he never complained that he couldn't fly like the birds. So, and he remained on the ground forever. So, he stayed on the ground forever and never complained about flying.